it looks like it's already, ooh, oh, that was perfect. Very well done, FSD. I didn't even see those guys until they had already started crossing the road. The car was already slowing down. I thought the car was making a mistake. It did that absolutely perfectly. And um, I, I really have nothing else to say about that other than thank you. <laughs> okay, so Tesla has released um, release notes for the next FSD update. I haven't gotten it yet. I'm still on 10.9. But the release notes for 10.10 .10 have come out. Uh, the big change being that they are meeting the requirement or the, the ask from the uh, Highway Safety Transportation Administration um, for rolling stops. Now, Tesla explained in the release notes that rolling stops could only happen at a very particular set of um, interactions. I'm not sure I totally agree with what they said in the uh, release notes that said that it only happens at four-way stops where everything's going 30 miles an hour or slower. I've definitely had what I would consider a rolling stop um, at roads that were not at a four-way intersection. So I, I'm not 100% certain that they're um, they're being very straightforward with that description. Uh, that said, it's not really something that bothers me. I personally don't roll stops. I will stop at stop signs. But uh, it's very interesting to see how quickly they reacted to what was happening with the NHTSA. Um, or NSHT, whatever it is. Anyway, um, what I wanted to do is a little bit of continuation on a video that I was working on uh, earlier this week. And uh, it's based, based around roads and how FSD handles them uh, without any navigation set. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just go ahead and turn on FSD here after this one, -way bri one lane bridge. I knew this was coming up. This is an interaction that FSD does not does not handle at all uh, and I don't want to cause any accidents so I wanted to wait until this one lane bridge and then I'm going to turn on FSD right after I get past it and uh, we're just going to let the, the, the car take us where it wants to go. I'm going to go ahead and wave at this person. Thank you very much. And uh, here we go. So this is FSD 10.9 and this will probably be one of my last FSD 10.9 videos. Uh, again, no navigation set so I'm just going to go ahead and open that all the way out um, and we're gonna get a mixture of some routes I might manually make it take certain turns just so I can get a mixture of routes but uh, you know a mixture of rural routes a mixture of um, you know, suburban and then also uh, uh, urban routes as well so I'll, uh, I'll fast forward a lot of this uh, but wherever necessary I'll make uh, I'll make some comments on how it's handling certain interactions uh, and uh, we'll see what happens. Right, I'm going to manually make it take this right hand turn. And I'm going to immediately re Okay. So if I had gone straight it would have just taken me to Walmart. I don't need to go to Walmart. slowing down for this light I'm gonna push it forward so that's a that's an issue that should be reported okay we got some construction here we're gonna go around that very well done now, I want it to remain in this lane and continue forward so let's see what happens I don't want it to go to the left all right, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Now it's gonna slow down again for these lights. It shouldn't be doing that, so I'll report that. Uh, that right lane is a right turn only lane ahead. I'm gonna 
two triggers so I don't hit that piece of wood, but if it hadn't been in the road, it would have been just fine. And again, I'm in Hagerstown, Maryland. Uh, not a big city, but uh, around here, it's the biggest city in this county. Um, and I'm just, I'm going from, I, you know, I started out on a, on a bit of a rural road, not as, not as rural as they get around here. I uh, went through a little bit of a suburban area. Now we're gonna go through um, the city and uh, try and get some interesting interactions down there. sees the guy on the bike. Okay, and that's pretty far up. That was six cars ahead. So that's pretty good. instances where the car did better than a human. I didn't see them until they were already in the road. The car was already slowing down. So, um, wow. Uh, <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. That, that was awesome. Okay, this guy getting in his car. Car slows down for him. This dude just riding his bike down the center of the street. That's, that's cool too. Car handled that perfectly. I, I mean, even though that was just one of the dumbest things I've seen somebody doing quite a, quite a while, uh, the car handled it like it was nothing. It slowed down to make sure that that guy wasn't going to jump out on his bike. We're doing great stuff here, guys. Uh, wow. I, I'm super, super impressed with how it's handled this urban uh, drive so far. Usually, um, I'm hovering the brake or I'm getting ready to hit disengage, but the car is doing a great job. That was a little janky there, that in interaction there with the guy parking, a little janky, but overall I'd, I'd still rate that as a, as a success. Um, we got a car entering the, the road here from the right, he is going to go, the car slowed down for him, exactly what it should have done. Ooh, sorry, go ahead. That was a mistake, it should not have done that. It should have seen that there was a guy wait, waiting there and uh, waited for him. But other than that, that was good. Okay, there we go. So that, it shouldn't have done that. It should have slowed down. I think it was estimating they kind of could have made that turn without waiting, but I, I'm much more uh, conscientious about letting people go. Uh, this is, oh, that's one way, okay. I'm not exactly sure where we are, so I think I'm gonna take over. Oh wait, it's going to take this left. All right, I didn't trust it to take that left, but it probably would have made it just fine. All right, it's going to turn left here. And I, you'll see, if, if I get close to a curb, I'll take over because these are brand new wheels and I am not messing them up. Okay, wow, that was very well done. Apparently it wants to turn right here. Uh, oh, because it's a one-way street to the, to, the, to the front. We're clear to the left. I'm going to let it do its thing. Okay, and then it's just going to continue on. Wow. Okay, so that was really well done. So, so far, 
aside from the one guy getting ready to cross the street, I it probably should have seen that and slowed down. Uh, it's doing amazingly through these urban areas. Uh, there's a guy getting out of his car. I'm gonna go ahead and take it over. No need to add any additional stress to that man's day. I've been on crutches before and that sucks. Okay. Um, I mean, wow, I, I don't have anything negative to say. Aside from that one interaction, again, the car should have slowed down and waited for that person crossing uh, just out of, you know, courtesy. Yeah, they weren't in the intersection. They weren't exactly at the crosswalk just yet, but it should have, it should have given right up. Wow. Should have given right away to that person. Handling these interactions very well, very naturally. I'm gonna get out of the snow. It sees big piles of snow, but these little piles of snow that I, I just don't want to run through because sometimes there's ice in them. Um, it, it, it seems to just not care. So like this pile of snow, it probably will go right through it. Yeah, I'm not gonna let it. All right, so I'm gonna re-engage because I want to see how it does through here. Okay, it's going through. And apparently it's gonna take this first right. Okay, hey, I've had great success uh, through roundabouts with uh, FSD 10.9. Um, I have a lot of roundabouts in my area. Uh, as you can see, there's two immediately right there. Uh, there's one right by my house that it handles perfectly. It doesn't have any issues with it at all. Um, I've been very, very happy with how FSD handles these roundabouts. And again, negotiating these turns, no navigation set. We're just kind of going where the car wants to go. You know, it, it wants to go to the right, so I'm going to let it go to the right. This is what the car has decided to do. And it's doing a great job. So like this big pile of snow here, it's gonna see it and move over out of the way of it. So it, it does a really good job of identifying those types of obstacles. Um, small things, oh, so it knows that there's a no outlet, so it has to turn, so it's going to. That's very intelligent. That's very well done. Wave at our fellow Tesla. It's going to creep forward through here because it can't really see very well left to right. And then it goes. Okay, cool. Good job. All right. To the left. That's what it's doing. So, wow, it was very well done on that turn. Um, it's a real sharp left hand turn. It had perfect visibility, it just went through without any issues. bumps that's good it's it's recognizing speed bumps uh, very reliably all right I'm gonna let it continue forward yeah, it 
needs to stop so it can yield properly. Okay, so that's that's a bad idea there. All right, Ooh, wow, immediately started forward. Wow, okay, so it recognized that it was clear and it just went. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure what was happening there. Um, it was like it was trying to use both of these two lanes. It's not recognizing that that's a lane until it sees the markings up here. I'm going to go ahead and try and get... That was a very loud Jeep Grand Cherokee. Okay, here's an interesting interaction coming up on my right-hand side. There's an ambulance. Let's see what happens. Nothing. It didn't recognize that as an emergency or anything. Please pay attention to the road. Okay. <laughs> Literally looking out the window. Okay. route will make it take this next left like I want it to. The, inter the interaction I want it to, to, to test out is right here. This is a red light, no turn on red. Uh, no right turn on red interaction. And, and, and it has in the past tried to take that turn. So I want to see what happens. This is what exactly what I wanted. I want it to stop here. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so it's gonna try and creep forward. Here we go. Okay, that was well done. Okay, so I figured out why FSD was doing really weird things. I still had navigation set. I forgot that it set a navigation point. For some reason, it didn't. Um, it didn't make the maneuver that it needed to. And I didn't. I, didn't, I was so worried about it making the maneuver into uh, into it not taking that right turn on red, which it's not allowed to do. But I didn't even realize that it didn't get into the proper lane to make the, the turn. So there's these two lanes that it needed to get into, and it totally didn't do it. And that's the first time I've actually ever had that happen, because that's the way I go home. So that was really interesting. Navigate to Hagerstown Community College. So this is probably going to make a, a sharp turn up here. Too bad. So this interaction here with the house on the left, where it's a completely blind corner, is this something that we see out here in in this area, where roads were so old, the houses were literally built on the road. It used to just be, you know, a horse trail or a horse, maybe a horse and buggy at best, right? Um, but now they've evolved into, you know, they need to be wide enough for cars, and it needs to move over. Okay. It wasn't moving over far enough, I had to force it over. Okay, now I am going to be on a watch here. So after this truck it can go. Okay, that was actually really good. Um, I mean, the I wish I had a 360 camera so you can see exactly how good that was. Um, to my left was a really sharp corner. 
with a with a, a rock wall and the vehicles were barely visible i i mean i had to look hard over my shoulder out the window to see if the cars were coming and the vehicle was able to see those cars without any issue it was it was perfectly happy with making that turn it moved forward a few times too many in my opinion it could have just gotten to a certain point and just waited um because it, it, well, at, at a certain point it was able to see down the road and it knew i need to wait for these cars uh, but beyond that it did a really good job laying over just in time, just before the, the solid white line, um, and it's going through these circle, kind of janky, usually it does this perfectly, no problem, um, other than that one really hard yank, um, it did a pretty good job. Alright, so what I'm doing here, just to see what FSD thinks about it. I want to see what a motorcycle training course looks like as far as the lines are considered. And it doesn't seem to be picking up any of the lines um, in this parking lot. It's, it's not seeing any of the lines here. So there are a lot of lines drawn on the ground here and it's just not seeing them. They're not officially drawn, they're not thick enough, they're not regulation, it's just, it's just a bunch of spray painted lines. I was just curious to see what it would look like in a, in a motorcycle training course. Well with that, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and call it. I am going to um, edit this together. I'm sure 1010 will be out within the next couple of days maybe tomorrow for public release. I'm sure it's going through internal testing now. Uh, and by the time you watch this, I'll probably be downloading 1010 or getting ready to download it. So, um, very curious again to see what the changes are, what the improvements end up being. Um, and uh, I will make a video, of course, uh, testing out 1010 with with our friend the Sasquatch, as well as 1010 with um, our loop at Antietam uh, to see if there's any improvements on that that road, uh, that generally horrible interaction that we've had so far with Antietam's uh, roads. I'm gonna go ahead and take over here. Uh, and then uh, we'll uh, get some general testing. Maybe I'll go back through the downtown area and all that. Uh, and as usual, thank you for watching. I don't have monetization on my channel, so um, you know, just go ahead and leave some comments. Let me know what you think. If you have questions, you have comments, you have ideas. Uh, all of those things are welcome. Be kind to one another. And uh, again, thanks for watching.